To conclude and summarize, we have seen how the idea of money has evolved through history from a more tangible to a more intangible concept, with each stage having its pros and cons. From barter trade, we move to commodity money. Through commodity-backed paper money, all of which have some intrinsic value, onto the fiat money we use now. This was a historical journey from real goods and commodities to numbers on a computer screen representing value and money. Throughout all these stages, we had an idea of value in our mind, but it has evolved hand in hand with our civilization and technology. From something you can touch and actually use, to something you can touch but cannot use except for trade, to just an abstract idea. As you can see, the form has changed, but the idea of value has always remained the same. And we represent and communicate this idea of value in terms of money. Good, because this abstraction of value brings us to the next evolutionary step, digital cryptocurrencies powered by blockchain technology. Similar to the fiat system, this form of money has value because people believe in it. But there is more to it than just a government promise. Promises made by people have been broken many times in history. Here we have solid science, mathematics, and computer hardware guaranteeing the blockchain works as expected. Next we'll see how the technologies underpinning Bitcoin emerged and how they were put to work together. This technology mix enabled us to have digital money we can trust without the need for any central agents or middlemen. Now, if this sounds like the logical next step for you, then stick with us and we'll show you how it all happened.